Now, for the last two months, we have been reporting on the results of a Bloomberg investigation into Prudential Financial and how it pays benefits to survivors of military members and veterans. It's led to a series of follow-up probes by Congress, the federal government, and state regulators. And now, there's a new twist. Monica Bertrand has more details. Monica. Deandre, this latest development has to do with how Prudential pays survivors of those killed in combat. It turns out that Prudential has been getting a helping hand from a source with deep pockets. It's the U.S. taxpayer. The story is in the latest issue of Bloomberg Markets magazine, and here's how it works. When a soldier is killed in combat, the government sends Prudential the full amount of the death benefit, usually about $400,000. Since 2003, Prudential has collected $1.7 billion altogether. Prudential holds the taxpayer money, invests it, and makes a profit. Now, if a survivor asks for a lump sum payment, Prudential instead opens up what's called a retained asset account and sends survivors a check Book. The accounts are not insured, and Prudential return on its benefit investments is about eight times higher than the interest it pays on survivors' accounts. Now, Prudential has said that the retained asset accounts are useful service for survivors. Two weeks ago, the Veterans Administration said Prudential had agreed to quit sending the checkbooks to survivors automatically. For now, on survivors will be given the option of getting that lump sum payment. I suspect there'll be more to come on this story as well.